Hi guys, this is Lance with My Van Life. Welcome back to the channel. And I've got a one-pot mill that I made today that I want to show you real quick. And I'll explain what I did. And I want to show you something about the van real fast. All right, guys, so this is the dish. So what I did was I cooked the potatoes and the sweet potatoes separately until they became soft. And then in another pot, I cooked the cabbage and the onions and the garlic until the desired consistency that I wanted for the cabbage, which was al dente. I don't like my cruciferous vegetables mushy. Not only do I think it, not only does it taste better in my opinion, but I think it also is healthier to not cook it to death. So I like a little bit of texture to my cabbage. And then what I did was I added bouillon to the water, chicken bouillon cubes. And I seasoned it with salt and pepper, bacon fat, butter. I used Italian seasoning. I used cinnamon, a little bit of brown sugar. And I've got ham, diced ham. So sweet potatoes, cabbage, potatoes, onion, garlic, ham, chicken bouillon. And let me tell you, if I can get this thing focused here, it is delicious. Now you might think it's a little bit odd. I know most people throw out the core. I cut off the bottom and I use the core and all. I think the, the core has a more intense cabbage flavor and it gets, the texture does not bother me. It, it's just a little bit chewier, but to me it's delicious and it tastes fantastic. So I use the core and all. And I do the same thing with broccoli. I'll trim the, the stems of the broccoli in order to get more of the vegetable out of it. And now I want to show you something about my van. I've got an appointment for uh, Monday to get my glass professionally removed. The reason I decided to get it professionally removed is because of this close proximity. The video that I watched showed guy using a hacksaw blade, but it was a whole different situation. It didn't have this lip. Even if I pre-bent the hacksaw blade, there's not enough room in here to, to do, to put it through here without scratching the paint. So I am going to have this professionally removed, both pieces of glass, Monday. And then I'm going to replace the glass, of course, with the cedar treated cedar plywood that I bought and I'm going to paint it, caulk it, and it'll be ready for when I decide to install the air conditioner and the max air fan. 